All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Love with Stretches Stretch. This is the series wrap-up of the Reds and the series preview of the Chicago Cubs. Um, basically, for the wrap-up, all I really want to say is, again, uh, we've been saying it, I've been saying it for the last couple weeks, is it's a good offense against a bad team, and this is what we need to be doing. You need to beat up on the bad teams. Uh, the thing I would add is uh, the defense actually showed up this uh, this past weekend, and uh, um, again, uh, I actually uh, also Matt Holiday showed up, which is really nice to see two bombs in the, in the first game of the series. So I think he's uh, that weight he dropped is actually going to be a big factor over the season. So I'm really excited to see what happens there. Yep, yep, yep. I completely agree. You know, uh, I, I think we're beating a, a very dead horse at this point, talking about how the Cardinals beat up on bad teams, which is what you should do. Um, it's nice to see the offense – and defense show up for once, and the Cubs will be their first true test, I think. Can can the Cardinals' offense match the Cubs' offense pound for pound? We're, we're about to find out. Um, so basically, your starting pitchers for the, sh- the visiting Chicago Cubs is the ex-Cardinal John Lackey from last year, Jason Hamill, who they traded last year and then signed back this year, and then uh, Kyle Hendricks, who's been the fifth starter for the past couple years now. And for the Cardinals, uh, Mike Leake will be going on Monday night, uh, Jaime Garcia on Tuesday, and Carlos Martinez on Wednesday. Um, the who's hot, uh, I don't know if they're hot right now. You really don't have to look at the stats just to predict that these guys may, are going to be scorching eventually. Is uh, Anthony Rizzo and Chris Bryant, otherwise known as Brizzo. Um, but, yeah, those two guys I think uh, at any point in time could become hot. Hopefully it's not this series, even though I do have Bryant and – me and Paul's fantasy league, a couple of base hits would be okay, but or a home run that doesn't really matter in the score would be nice. But other than that, I mean, you know, you get your average team. To be quite honest with you, uh, yeah, for the Cardinals, you know, I, I never thought I'd be saying this guy's name, but uh, Eric Fryer, the backup catcher, is actually really, really hot right now. He's six for six on the season against the Reds. He was four for four with two RBIs and a walk. Um, yeah, I mean, he's batting a thousand. So play the hot hand, I guess. Um, and then who's not uh, – he doesn't really play a factor in this one. It's just the overall pitching staff is uh, – John Lester has, is really having trouble throwing the bases. I honestly want to see the, the Cardinals kind of pick up the pace and start running a little bit. If uh, Colton Wong could get on base and still a couple bags, that would really help him. It's just establishing him in the lineup. Um, I don't think he'll bat lead off anytime soon. So, you know, the, the, the pressure of that is really off. Um, honestly, the way Malia is hitting, uh, I would say let uh, Wong – um, bat right behind Molina, to be uh, quite honest with you. So I hope that's what happens. But, uh, yeah, I mean, just the pitching staff isn't really that crazy, especially not facing uh, John Lester and Jake Arrieta. So, yeah, it's nothing too crazy. Uh, for the Cardinals, uh, I know he's had a very, very hot, hot start to the season. But uh, Jeremy Hazelbaker against the Reds went 0 for 6. Um, two of those at-bats were pinch hits, so you can't really blame him there. It's just a small sample size of one at-bat. Uh, but he did have a game where he went 0 for 4. Uh, small sample size, but against the Reds, still kind of ignore that he went, you know, 0 for 6. Exactly, and you're going to have 0 for 4 games. I mean, it just happens. It's just um, – it's blown out of proportion for him just because he's been so hot here recently. So, um, so for the, the predictions of the series that me and Paul had, we were both correct in the 2-1 to one for the Cardinals. Um, Adam Wainwright kind of had another one of those starts where things just didn't seem to go right for him. The Reds actually figured him out with the first pitch uh, fastballs every time. But uh, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and predict that the Cards win the series again 2-1 to one, just because the back two starters really just don't do nothing. <clears throat> yeah, you know, for the Cubs, I've never been a huge fan of Hendricks and, uh, and Hamill. Um, I think – They'll go two and one, and I do think that they that the Cardinals will lose tonight on Monday, and then win the series on Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, yeah, I've even in previous years when I haven't hated the Cubs, the Cubs as much as I do now, I've never been fans <coughs> of Hendricks and Hamill. So, you know, we'll see. It'll be a fun series. It's about time the Cardinals and Cubs play because we've been waiting for this since October. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the one thing I just want to kind of throw out there, uh, just uh, just a hint at the. Uh, the podcast, what I really want to bring up is, is uh, which fans are worse, Cubs or Cards? I've actually, I work at a local sporting goods store, and uh, it sparked a conversation between me and a young woman today about that. Um, I've actually gotten both perspectives. Um, uh, it's just really based off of who you go to the Cardinal games, or the games with is really honestly who you depict for that. Um, but, uh, um, you know, we'll get into that a little bit more. 
I actually thought of something today on the way home, but I don't remember what it was now. But I uh, um, uh, hope you guys watch the games. I know I'll be watching. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. Um, be prepared for another podcast or podcast this week, and then it should be another series uh, preview and wrap up as well later on this week. Um, it's probably around Thursday, something like that. Um, I don't remember. Uh, but uh, see you guys uh, then. Um, have the good rest of your week until we, you know, until you watch us again. But as always, go Cardinals.